Natural gas is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon mixture consisting of methane, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and hydrogen sulfide. It is an energy source often used for heating, cooking, vehicle fuel, and electricity generation. Most natural gas was created millions of years ago by two mechanisms, biogenic or thermogenic. Biogenic gas is created by organisms in marshes, bogs, landfills, and shallow sediments. Deeper in the earth at greater temperatures and pressures, thermogenic gas is created from buried organic material, and this type is usually used commercially. 75% of the world's natural gas reserves are found in Russia, the Middle East, and the U.S. 16% are found in Africa and Asia, and 4% are found in Central and South America. The United States consumes the most natural gas in the world with 6.8 billion cubic meters, followed by Russia, Iran, China, and Japan. Natural gas is considered non-renewable because it takes 500 to 300 million years to form. Because it takes longer to form than a typical human lifespan, it is not considered a renewable resource. Humans do not use natural gas at a rate in which it can renew itself to be considered renewable. Natural gas was discovered in America as early as 1626 near Lake Erie. Around 1785, natural gas produced from coal was used to light houses as well as streetlights. Manufactured natural gas of this type, as opposed to naturally occurring gas, was first brought to the United States in 1816. During most of the 19th century, natural gas was used almost solely as a source of light. Most of the natural gas produced in this era was manufactured from coal as opposed to transported from a well. Near the end of the century, with the rise of electricity, natural gas lights were converted to electric lights, allowing producers of natural gas to look for new uses. Once the transportation of natural gas was possible after World War II, new uses for natural gas were discovered like heating homes and operating appliances. Natural gas usage has steadily increased over time and it is used in its greatest amount presently. To recover natural gas, drillers must carve through a hard dome of non-porous rock to reach the rock containing the gas. The pressurized gas then shoots up through the hole for collection by the workers. Primary recovery relies on underground pressure to drive fluids to the surface. When the pressure fails, artificial lift technologies such as pumps are used to help bring more fluids to the surface. The EROI for natural gas was about 100 to 1 in 1940, 30 to 1 in 1970, and is currently about 5 to 1. Natural gas is valuable because we are extracting more than it takes to put in, but as we dig deeper to retrieve the oil we need, it takes more energy to get there. Soon it will not become valuable to extract natural gas. The purpose of natural gas storage is primarily to meet seasonal demand. Gas is put into storage when demand is low and then withdrawn when demand is high. The most important type of storage is underground reservoirs, consisting of depleted gas reservoirs and salt cavern reservoirs. Natural gas is injected into underground rock in depleted reservoirs. The salt in salt caverns is impermeable and seals itself, so the natural gas can't escape easily. Salt caverns can extend more than 1,000 feet underground. Natural gas has a very elaborate transportation system that allows it to travel great distances. There are three major types of pipelines along the transportation route. The gathering system, the interstate pipeline system, and the distribution system. Given its extreme versatility, ease of transport, and high energy output, natural gas is an ideal fuel for industrial and domestic purposes such as cooking, hot water heating, and central heating. Direct use of natural gas is more energy efficient than electricity. 90% of natural gas's energy reaches one's home and business. Natural gas is the cleanest of all fossil fuels, so it doesn't contribute significant amounts of greenhouse gases. Unlike other energy sources, 85% of all the natural gas consumed domestically is produced in the United States. Also, the natural gas industry creates at least 2.8 million jobs for Americans. Natural gas has many disadvantages. It can be highly volatile, weak carbon monoxide, and although it has less CO2 emissions than regular fuel, it still adds carbon to the atmosphere. Natural gas is the most common cause of carbon monoxide deaths. The burning of natural gas produces nitrogen oxides and carbon dioxide, but in lower amounts than burning coal or oil. Methane, a primary component of natural gas in a greenhouse gas, can also be emitted into the air when natural gas is not burned completely or as a result of leaks during transportation. Water is required for the cooling of natural gas. When power plants remove water from a lake or river, aquatic life can be killed, affecting animals and people who are dependent on these resources.
The extraction of natural gas and the construction of natural gas power plants can destroy an organism's natural habitat. Possible impacts also include erosion, loss of soil productivity, and landslides. Natural gas prices are mainly driven by supply and demand. Natural gas prices in the U.S. had historically followed oil prices, but in recent years have decreased and are now trending somewhat with coal prices. Natural gas usage is projected to increase for the next 60 years while supplies last using methods like hydraulic fracturing.